Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. I'm Dr. Ann O'Connor, and here we're told that one mole of carbon disulfide, which is a liquid, forms from its elements at one atmosphere of pressure and 25 degrees Celsius. Under these conditions, 89.7 kilojoules of heat is absorbed. It takes 27.7 kilojoules to vaporize one mole of the liquid. How much heat is absorbed when one mole of carbon disulfide gas forms from its elements under the same conditions? All right, this is where we can apply Hess's law, okay? Remember, according to Hess's law, the enthalpy change of an overall process is the enthalpy changes of the individual steps, okay? So what we do is we imagine that the overall reaction occurs through a series of individual reaction steps. So what we're able to do then, if we know the enthalpy change for each of those steps, then we can sum the equations, the individual steps, to get the overall equation and therefore the enthalpy change for the overall reaction. So let's start with this first part. We're told that one mole of carbon disulfide forms from its elements, okay? So that means we have carbon, which is a solid, plus sulfur. Now remember, sulfur in elemental state it consists of eight atoms, so it's not monatomic, right? Uh, it's actually octatomic. So carbon and sulfur will produce then carbon disulfide. Now, we have to make sure that our equation is balanced, okay? And we also have to make sure that we have one mole of carbon disulfide. So how do I do that? Well, on this side, I have one carbon. On this side, I have one carbon. On this side, we have two sulfur atoms. On this side, eight. So wouldn't it be true that one-fourth of this is going to equal two? So I'm going to put a one-fourth in front of the sulfur. Remember, the our product here, the carbon disulfide, it has to be one mole. So I'm okay to leave the fraction in here. So we already know that delta H for this process is 89.7 kilojoules. Okay, now for part two. We're told that it takes 27.7 kilojoules to vaporize one mole of the liquid. Okay, in fact, let me get my label in here. Okay, that's better. And I should put that one in there too. All right. So, and we're being asked how much heat is absorbed when one mole of carbon disulfide gas forms from its elements. Okay, so again, basically what's happening here, we have the carbon disulfide liquid, right, being vaporized to carbon disulfide gas. And again, um, this is in terms of one mole of the gas. And we're told that one mole of the liquid, when it's vaporized, um, it takes 27.7 kilojoules, okay, in order to vaporize that. So now I'm all set. I can determine the enthalpy change for the overall reaction. So let's go ahead and sum the reactions. Notice that carbon disulfide liquid then, um, can be canceled here as we add the equations and what we end up with is an overall equation of carbon plus one-fourth the uh, sulfur okay, to give carbon disulfide gas. 
And then we'll just go ahead and add these two enthalpies here. And we end up with an overall enthalpy change equal to a 117.4 kilojoules.